37.5. We're about to fit some coilovers. I know what you guys are thinking. Are we going to be fitting it on your driveway like all the other mods that we've done? Well, the answer is no, not today. We're not going to be fitting it on the driveway. Although, I know that you guys would love to see me struggle. So we're going to be heading up to Mallory Performance and they are going to let me use their ramp in exchange for a McDonald's breakfast. So let's put the coilovers inside the car, get McDonald's breakfast and then we'll head up and get this car on the ramp. A wham! <laughs> we are here. So this is Malibu Performance. You've probably seen it in a bunch of my other videos. This is one of the places that I work. Yes, C63 is tuned to over 600 brake and actually on the dyno at the minute, which we will be taking the S5 on at some point before and after a carbon clean, there is another C63 on the dyno which they're tuning at the minute. Now here is the Audi S5. It's on the ramps, ready. We're going to tackle it now, get on the BC Racing coilovers. So let's just get straight to it. So, this is what we've got. Instructions, probably gonna need them. So let me explain before we actually fit these. So these are the BC Racing Coil Overs, obviously front and rear. This isn't gonna make sense to some people, but to some people it will. The damper adjusted so you can obviously adjust the stiffness of the ride and then also height adjusting, but to actually adjust the height, we're moving the, the whole damper up and down, if that makes sense, rather than the spring. Unlike your cheaper coilovers, you move the spring up and down, but by having your car really low, you'll find the ride is quite hard because when you're moving the spring down, there's not an, as much travel in the damper, which causes it to be harder, if that makes any sense. A lot of people ask what are the prices and things like that. Well, I don't say prices in the videos because these videos stay online forever and the prices don't stay the same forever. So let's just get it up and let's just get fit in it. Okay, so I am gonna start at the front. I do get a lot of stick as well for not for not saying in the videos exactly what I'm doing, but I'll roughly explain what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna do it to the exact point, but I'm gonna take this wheel off first. In this part, what I'd normally be doing is undoing this pinch bolt, let me show you. Undoing this pinch bolt right here, but like there is absolute bloody horror stories about that pinch bolt there and that getting stuck in and it could be here hours, days, weeks, years. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo these far arms. You know, at the end there, I'm gonna disconnect it from there. It's a bit more of a faff, but it's better than spending eight hours trying to flip in get this pinch bolt out and get the arms out the top, but let's give it a go. is off now that needs to be off on this side um, so it needs to do undo four bolts which are underneath the bonnet now so I'm going to lower it down undo it this is a bit more in depth than I usually go I hope you guys are enjoying this and uh, 
I'm actually not. I'm actually enjoying standing up and not being on a wet floor. So shout out to Malibu Performance. Make sure you follow them. The links here. Follow them on Instagram, Facebook. You know the drill, right? Let's get this down. Open the bonnet and carry on from there. But so far, we're doing all right. Okay, so we've got the standard spring and the top mount. We need to take the top mount off, put them on the new one. It should all be cracker lacking. Didn't need a spring compressor because, well, you can normally tell when the spring is really compressed and this one definitely is not. So you can adjust the damping from this bit up here, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna adjust it now before I put it on the car just in case it's a bit of a nightmare to get to. I'm just gonna have it in the middle, so not too hard, not too soft. So um, it does do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 31 clicks, so I'm gonna go for 15 clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That always can be changed afterwards, but 15 clicks is about enough. Okay, so one side is on, hat had to come off because it was getting serious out here. Um, I won't show you everything just yet, I'm gonna do the other side. We'll get onto the rear and then we'll show you afterwards. <laughs> Guys, so the front two are done. I've not put the wheels on yet. I have actually done one rear whilst that little snippet happened. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the other rear now, show you uh, what's going on with that, but I can't wait to get the wheels on and get it all sorted so let's get to the rear and also guys if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far make sure you hit the subscribe button right let's get this wheel off and get the rear on it's actually not that bad on the rear but i've said it now and i right let's get this up in the air Do you know what, when I always watch videos, I always like to see underneath the car, I don't know why, I just like to see like the way it is underneath. So I thought I'd take these little like two seconds just to show you guys underneath. Yeah, so underneath, obviously we've got both sides exhaust. I've already put this side on, um, obviously there, that is, and that is the right way around. Don't even tell me that ain't because I've read the instructions. Um, but we've got to do that side. So on this exhaust wide, Exhaust wise, you've got one back box, two back box. Center box, center silencer. I assume these are maybe cats, but I then can't see any Lambda sensors around them, so. But they look like cats, not too sure. Um, we've got the gearbox here, which looks like the transmission fluid will be somewhere around here, which I do need to do a service on that. that. It goes up there. Um, we've got the two arms which we fitted um, in one of the previous videos, they're looking really dirty, everything does need a clean and we'll get jet washed underneath here at some point so please don't uh, shit your pants about it. Obviously as well, some people in the previous video said that my ball joint wasn't seated in correctly, you'll see that it is seated in both sides correctly now. Um, but yeah, that, this is just sort of underneath if you ever wanted to look underneath an S5. Right, let's get this bit down now. We've got to take the damper off, take the spring off. It's not that hard. Let's do it. Definitely have jinxed it. 
So this is the anti-roll bar. Well, what's left of the bolt of the anti-roll bar? <sighs> so that snapped off. Um, I'm still going to carry on. I'm still going to like carry on and get it finished off. But I don't know what I'm. I don't know how I'm going to get that bolt out. Or I, I don't know. Let's just carry on and let's just <sighs> classic. So both have snapped. Wow. Not only has the bolt for the damper snapped, the bolt for the anti-roll bar has snapped as well. So this is just one of them cases where it just doesn't go right. Um, went so well the other side and the front went all right. It's just the rear has to snap. So I, like, I've got to get it off these ramps because these guys obviously will uh, are letting me just use these ramps out of like favour um, so I can't just leave it in this ramp so I'm just going to put the spring on no. I'm not even going to jinx that I'm just going to say that's hard I've got to put the, I'm going to put the new spring on and I'm just going to have to drive it back without a damper like obviously it's so dangerous no damper, no anti-roll bar but I'm going to go very very slow drive home and then I think I'll have to bring it into my work and um, get one of the technicians to see if he can drill one of the bolts out um, uh, well, it's not, it's, it's not always positivity, guys, but let's just stay positive. End of the day, it's only one side, at least it's not both of them. Let's get this spring off and put the spring on and we're just going to have to lower it all down and uh, carry on. So guys, I'm trying to stay positive, I'm trying to stay positive. So there's no damper on this side, the spring's on, the anti-roll bar bolt snapped. I'm going to put the wheel on, I highly do not ever advise this driving without a damper um, or an, out an anti-roll bar. The anti-roll bar still seems to be sort of kind of there but it doesn't have a head on the bolt. And then we're going to have to sort of about, see about tackling getting these bolts out and finally getting the coil levers on. We're going to have to have four wheel alignment, we're going to have to adjust the height properly. So. Wish me luck guys, guys this has been absolute graft and obviously I've had a bit of bad luck here so least you guys can do, hit the thumbs up button, make sure you click subscribe if you've not already clicked subscribe on it. Let's get these wheels on and get it on the ground. Right guys, you guys are probably going to kill me for this, but I'm going to stop the video right there. You guys are going to get to see what it looks like, well, in the next video and hopefully we can get this bolt sorted out because this is going to be so bad and I've literally got squeaky bum trying to drive this home without a damper on the back. Proper, proper squeaky bum time, but guys, wish me luck. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I, I know I'm finishing it early, but you guys will get to see it in the next video, so make sure you click subscribe. Thank you to every single one of you. Peace out.